Today we are joining dozens of groups across the country declaring today, February 5th, Transit Equity Day. Here in D.C., for too long we have seen the high human costs of raising fare after fare every single year. We need a transit system that is connected and serves the communities that have been historically underserved by a model like persons with disabilities, youth, seniors, LGBTQ+, low income people, recent immigrants, and communities of color. We need progressive and equitable funding streams so that we can expand service and improve infrastructure. We need a world class public transportation system that is safe, reliable, and affordable because it is our lifeline to the city. So what's your main source of transportation nowadays? Yeah, yeah. The split between the bicycle for getting around almost anything in the city and an old car for getting around stuff out in the suburbs where my mother lives and I have to take care of her. I can bike the entire run, but I don't want to leave her alone that long. I used to ride Metro all the time until they jacked up the fares. And I want to speak to you about the critical importance of bringing back late night service and why this is an issue with a wide ranging uh, amount of consequences that has personally affected me and my own safety and ability to make ends meet here in the District of Columbia. I hope that you will take steps to reinstate late night service and that keep affairs reasonable. Our livelihoods depend upon public transit. I think that it's a huge part of the conversation about what safety means, right? And safety is not only like being free of harassment in those spaces, but also accessibility. What do we want? What do we want it? Yeah. We also have this uh, impervious area fee that's now put on to the water bill. That's another example, and people are mad as hell. You know how much the taxable income is? A hundred and fifty-seven billion dollars. A hundred and fifty-seven billion. It's probably higher now. That was 2015. Well, their own one point, that. yeah, one point one percent tax on those residents will pay for the whole state and local contribution to a budget in 2019. And for us, that means having a fully accessible public transit system that's affordable and brings riders where they need to go so they can get to work and school and uh, access health care and the grocery stores and everywhere else they need and want to go. And right now, our public transportation system isn't serving those who need it the most.